Today I'm going to tie a grub fly for you. I come up with this. What I'm, what I'm using is a um, a black octopus hook. Found these in a, in one of the sporting stores. And I thought it was going to make a nice fly and it, and it has turned out with the curvature of it to make a nice grub and a soft ackle style fly. So let's see if we can get you one tied up today. See what you See if you like these. Um, gonna be using uh, copper bead and black. These are a five thirty socket. I like the the black head on this particular fly. I come up with. So we'll get the the bead put on small hole toward the hook eye. Set this up in your vise to where the the bead is just. Holding right there at the, right behind the hook eye. Right, I'm going to use a, uh, a brown 6 aught unithread. We're going to take this, back down your shank, right, carry it to where the, where the bend starts coming back around toward the hook point. Cut that off. I don't want to use a, for the tail, I'm going to use a brown mylar plank. What I'm going to do is pull off, that's called about a same width of your hook gap for the tail material. Right, I want my, my tail to be the same length of the hook itself from the eye all the way to the bend. What I'm going to do is measure that, grab it. Then I'm going to tie that in right on top of the hook. All right, I'm going to use a copper flash. And I'm going to use it very spray. I'm just going to use one piece on each side. I'm going to cut it the same length as the tail feather. Then you can cut off your extra. Pull in one for the opposite side. All right, tie that in. Clip it, clip off all your extras, and then you can pull your, your thread and tie that back down on top of your hook. Right, carry it back up. I'm going to use a 32 gauge copper wire for my ribbon. Um, this wire I think I bought at Hobby Lobby. You can buy it about anywhere. What I'm going to do is take that copper wire and put it on the side of the hook. And I'm going to follow the hook, curvature of the hook, all the way back. Alright, then I'm going to run my thread back up to the bead. And I'm going to whip finish it off, just get my thread out of the way for right now. Alright, for my body, I'm going to use an unflavored waxed floss. You can get this floss at any of your drug stores, um, most of your big name stores to carry it. It's a nice thick, flat, waxed floss and it makes an excellent body. What I do is take and spool some off on an empty thread spool and that way it's easy to work with. So what I'm going to do is, is, is tie this in just like you would your, your regular thread and I'm going to carry the waist in back to the last wrap of the floss and then we'll cut off the extra then we'll cut that floss two more turns down to the end all right when I start my floss back you want to come up at least the width of a, the floss so your body will look like a thicker as you go up all right you want to carry that single floss back up to where your hook point is right here all right at this time start doubling your wax floss so your body will get thicker. Alright, when you get up to the bead head, stop and tie your thread back in. Alright, then bring your floss up and finish your body. It's normally about two wraps. Then you can tie off that floss. 
you cut it off, get it out of your way. And I'm going to take this copper wire and I'm going to reverse the motion of what I put on the, the floss. I'm going to make my body segments. There's no set width of what you make it, but whatever you start, try to keep the, the segments the same distance all the way back up your body. And tie it off. Once it hits your bead head, I use an old pair of scissors for my all my wire cutting so I don't mess up my my good scissors. Okay. What I'm going to use for the soft hackle, I've got a, a dark grizzly cape here. Hen hackle. I'm wearing a hen cape. Pick me a pretty good feather out. It's kind of a violent color. You can really use any, any of the darker materials for your soft hackle. But you can tie your soft hackle in any way y'all you tie it. What I like to do on this since it's so delicate, I'll strip off half of the one side of the, the feather, the side that's gonna be wrapping as it going around the head. Alright, tie your hackle in, pull back your extra wrap behind it. Alright, then what I do is just kind of pull out the fibers horizontally. Just give it a start. Then take your hackle pliers and hook onto the tip of it. Then wrap it around your fly. Don't worry about your, your hackle feathers at this time. Just get your hackle wrapped in. Then tie it off. Then you can cut that extra off. And pull these feathers back. That way you can finish your thread on your head. And what I try to do on this feather, there's a white vein that runs down the center of it. I try to just cover that with my with my thread. And I'm a real fan of super glue. Just takes just a little on the thread. And that really ties off the glues the thread where you don't wouldn't really even have to put any more on. But I do, once I finish whip finishing it. You'll notice I took my brush and I've cut it, cut the brush into an angle to where you got a point on it. And with that point, you just touch that, touch that thread with it. And it's gonna seal that off. You'll never have no problem with that thread coming loose. Right now for your soft tackle, what I do is take a small brush now just brush your hackle. Now pull your hackle back up and separate the fibers. I mean, once the once the fly gets wet, the hackles are going to go where they want to anyway. But this just gives you a good look. And there's your finished fly. <clears throat> I'm going to use this as a grub, like I said. That's why I come up with this. Uh, and using the, the regular black Optimus hooks. Uh, you can get them anywhere, and it's got a nice curvature. I'm going to try to probably fly fish this around docks and other structures. Um, so I think it's going to be an excellent fly to, to use. And I hope you enjoy tying this, and I hope this fly helps you in your fishing. And thanks for watching.